us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun. O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us confess the general confession. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, creator and judge of all people, we acknowledge and confess our many sins and offenses from which we have committed against your divine majesty by thought, word, and deed. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorrow for these our misdoings. Have mercy on us, most merciful Father, for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, Forgive us of our sins and offenses, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please you in the newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you. Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, for by water and the Holy Spirit, you made us a new people in Jesus Christ our Lord. To send forth your glory in all the world, Therefore, we praise you joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. All power and glory and honor to you, Almighty. God, Holy Father, creator of heaven and earth, who did make us in your own image, and when we fell into sin, you of your tender mercy did give your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his one oblation of himself once offered a full and perfect sacrifice for the whole world and instituted and commanded us to continue this perpetual memorial of his precious death until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took the bread and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, with this bread and cup, we remember the life our Lord offered for us, and believing the witnesses of his resurrection, we await his coming in power to share with us the great and promised feast. Gracious God, you are holy indeed. The fountain of our holiness, bless and sanctify these gifts with your Holy Spirit, and bless us to your service that we may faithfully receive in unity and peace the body 
in the blood of Jesus Christ, let us all say amen. The body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, I take all of it until he comes again. The blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary, I drink all of it until his coming again. Let us pray as the Lord taught his disciples how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses that we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us all from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Let us all say amen. Beloved, as I continue to kneel during this first Sunday, let us affirm our faith. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pastor's Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead and on the third day he arose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the church universal, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Let us all say amen. <laughs> 